Hey everyone, Ray here from KetoDietResults.com. I'm putting together a blog post that's going to include over 50 low-carb bread recipes, and I'm really doing this for my own experimentation. I haven't made that many bread recipes. Most of the time I just go without bread. The goal of this for myself is just to find new recipes that I really enjoy using ingredients that I already have. And I'm going to start today with the easiest recipe that I've found for almond flax bread. This recipe is from HealyEatsReal.com and I'll include that in the description below. And once I finish up the low carb bread post, I will also include that link in the description. But I have this written down on an index card, so let me show you that. So this is the almond flax bread. I mean, it's super simple. And the instructions are simply mix everything together and then bake for 45 minutes at 300 degrees. So this is going to be another short video. I don't have to show you a lot of the process here. Um, the, the only thing I'm going to substitute is that it says one tablespoon of whole flax. But I have a lot of chia seeds, so I'm going to substitute that for chia seeds. And other than that, we're going to get going here. I got all the dry ingredients in this bowl, and I beat up the eggs in the white bowl on the left, and I greased the loaf pan with coconut oil. Now, I actually think this loaf pan is longer than most loaf pans, so I may end up getting a flat bread here. We'll figure it out. And the only thing I got to add is the apple cider vinegar. Just a half teaspoon of that, which I'll add when I mix the two together. And I'll show you what it looks like in the loaf pan before I put it in the oven. As expected here, this doesn't fill out the pan. Um, so instead of flattening it out a ton, I'm going to just stick in the oven like this about halfway full and see what happens. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll check in after this is done in the oven for about 45 minutes. Well, I'm pretty much done here. I normally like to do bread or cakes to about 200 degrees. I believe that's what they're meant to be cooked to if it's a gluten-based recipe, so I don't really know if that changes with these low-carb recipes. But over the last 10 minutes or so, I increased the oven temperature to 400 degrees to try and get the top to brown a little bit. And it didn't brown too much. I didn't want to leave it much longer and dry it out. So I'm going to let this cool, and then I'll probably slice a couple pieces off and toast them up. Here's the final product toasted up, so it looks a little bit better now, and let me flip it over. There you go. So you can see, it actually does look like bread, and it's a little more crumbly, but I mean, I like this a lot. And I think if I did it in a proper size loaf pan, it might have risen a little bit more. And the other thing I might try and do is separate the eggs and beat up the egg whites and see if that makes a difference in terms of making it a little bit um, airier. But overall, I like this. I'm gonna slice these up, and I'm probably gonna freeze about half of it, and put a few slices in the fridge, and then toast them up and eat it like this, maybe with some peanut butter or cream cheese. So if you try this recipe out, let me know. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up, and you can subscribe to my channel, where I'm gonna do more videos, hopefully with these low-carb breads, but also keys to the keto diet and cooking videos that are low carb. Thanks everyone. Have a good one.